Who's that? Zbig Brzezinski. So Bigniew Brzezinski was counselor for strategic and, uh, and international studies, professor of American foreign policy of Johns Hopkins, national security advisor to President Jimmy Carter, trustee and founder of the Trilateral Commission, member of the Council on Foreign Relations, international advisor to several major cor corporations, associate of Henry Kissinger, also worked for Ronald Reagan in intelligence capacities co-chairman of the Bush National Security Advisory Task Force in 1988. What a guy. See big. Now, if you want to get really, 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 really angry, go buy this book. It's called The Grand Chessboard. American Primacy and its Geostrategic Objectives. Written by Zbigniew Brzezinski in 1997. I'm going to read you some quotes from that book. Page XII, it's the very first words in the book. The last decades of the 20th century has witnessed a tectonic shift in world affairs. For the first time ever, a non-Eurasian power has emerged not only as a key arbiter of Eurasian power relations, but also as the world's paramount power. The defeat and collapse of the Soviet Union was the final step in the rapid ascendance of a Western Hemisphere power, the United States as the sole and indeed the first truly global superpower. Page XII, it's in the preface. But in the meantime, he says, it is imperative that no Eurasian challenger Eurasia is everything in between roughly east of Germany all the way to the Pacific Ocean, south through the Indian subcontinent, and includes the Middle East. It's imperative that no Eurasian challenger, by that he means Russia or China, emerges capable of dominating Eurasia and thus of also challenging America. The formulation of a comprehensive and integrated Eurasian geostrategy is therefore the purpose of this book, Geostrategy, Eurasia. The attitude of the American public toward the external projection of American power has been much more ambivalent. The public supported America's engagement in World War II largely because of the shock effect of the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. It gets worse. For America, the chief geopolitical prize is Eurasia. Now a non-Eurasian power, that's us, is preeminent in Eurasia and America's global primacy, isn't that arrogant? America's global primacy is directly dependent on how long and how effectively its preponderance on the Eurasian continent, continent is sustained. What he's saying is, is that if the U.S. wants to stay top dog, we have to control Eurasia. America's withdrawal from, the world, withdrawal from the world or because of the sudden emergence of a successful rival would produce massive international stability. It would prompt global anarchy. You know what he's saying there? Yeah, a little global anarchy would probably be a damn good thing right now. Um, what he's saying there is if we don't control the world by whatever means necessary, the world's going to be miserable. He didn't ask my opinion. Did he ask yours? 